Hola nuevos amigos, ¿cómo están? ¿Cuál es la fecha de hoy? What is today's date? We are going to learn how to say and write today's date. And we will also review our days of the week and months of the year. Come in. Hola Juanita, ¿cómo estás? Hola señorita García, I'm doing great. Over to see if you needed any help today. Oh, hola nuevos amigos. ¿Cómo están hoy? How are you today? I was just telling our nuevos amigos that we are going to learn the days of the week, months of the year, and how to write the date in Spanish. That sounds like fun. Can we also learn how to write our birthday in Spanish, Señorita Garcia? We sure can, Juanita. Today is going to be a great day for learning Spanish. But first, it is time to do our Nuevos Amigos Cheer! N-U-E-V-O-S A-M-I-G-O-S Nuevos Amigos, Nuevos Amigos Nuevos amigos, I'm so excited about today's lesson. First we need to... Oh, nuevos amigos, I know what time it is now. It's time to learn the verb for the day. Let me get the basket of magical beans and let's find out what our verb for the day is. The verb for the day is escribir, escribir, to write. Let's say the verb one more time, escribir. A, E, I, O, U. Hola, señorita García. ¿Cómo está? Hola, gigante. Estoy muy bien. ¿Y tú? Estoy muy bien, señorita García. I see you have learned the verb for the day, which is escribir, to write. I want all my nuevos amigos to say the verb with me just one more time. Escribir. Escribir. Good job, boys and girls. Gigante, can you help me by using the verb escribir in a sentence? I would be happy to, Señorita García. Let's see. Me gusta escribir la fecha. Me gusta escribir la fecha. I like to write the date. Me gusta escribir la fecha. That is a great sentence, Gigante. Muchas gracias. Adiós. Adiós, Señorita García. Adiós, nuevos amigos. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, now we can watch our theme song with the verb escribir. And the sentence, me gusta escribir la fecha. Enjoy the theme song, nuevos amigos, and remember to sing and dance along. Okay, boys and girls, now we are going to review the days of the week. Los días de la semana. 
Remember, the days of the week are never capitalized in Spanish. Uh-uh. Let's start with Monday. Lunes. Lunes. Tuesday. Martes. Martes. Wednesday. Miércoles. Miércoles. Thursday. Jueves. Jueves. Friday. Viernes. Viernes. Saturday. Sábado. Sábado. And Sunday is Domingo. Domingo. Let's see the days of the week again. And I want you to write down each day in your journal. Remember, to write in Spanish is Escribir. Escribir. Here we go, nuevos amigos. Lunes. Martes. Miércoles. Jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Now, boys and girls, let's review the months of the year. How do you say months in Spanish? Meses del año. Meses del año. Again, boys and girls, the months of the year are not capitalized in Spanish. Uh-uh. Let's review. January is Enero. Enero. February is Febrero. Febrero. Remember, nuevos amigos, we need to write down all of these words in our journal. March is Marzo. Marzo. April is Abril. Abril. May in Spanish is Mayo. Mayo. June is Junio. Junio. And July sounds almost the same, but it's spelled differently. July is Julio. Julio. August is Agosto. Agosto. September is septiembre, septiembre. Let's say and write this down once more, septiembre. October is octubre, octubre. November is noviembre, noviembre. And finally, December is diciembre, diciembre. Look at the spelling, boys and girls. Diciembre. Great, everyone. I hope you wrote every day of the week and every month of the year in your journals. I had so much fun reviewing los días de la semana y los meses del año. <laughs> now that we know the months and the days of the week, nuevos amigos, we are going to learn how to use them in a conversation. But first, I need for you to get out your Spanish journals and either a pencil, un lapis, or a pen, una pluma, and write down our new vocabulary sentences. Our first sentence is, what is today's date? And you would say, ¿Cuál es la fecha de Hoy. ¿Cuál es la fecha de hoy? What is today's date? And the answer would be, hoy es, say the number, and then the word de, and then the month. Let's see an example. In this sentence, we see the date and the month. Hoy es el 22 de abril. Today is April 22nd. Nuevos amigos, if you wanted to know what day it was, you would say, ¿Qué día es hoy? ¿Qué día es hoy? The answer to this question would be, hoy es, and then the name of the day of the week. 
Let's see another example using this sentence. Hoy es sábado. Today is Saturday. If you wanted to know what day it was yesterday, then you would say, ¿Qué día fue ayer? What day was it yesterday? Let's write this question down. ¿Qué día fue ayer? The answer to this question is, Ayer fue and the day. Let's see another example. Ayer fue miércoles. Yesterday was Wednesday. Thank you, Diego. The last question we will learn is what day will it be tomorrow? And to say this in Spanish, you would say, Que día será mañana? Be sure to write this down in your Spanish journals, boys and girls. Que día será mañana? The answer to this question would be, Mañana será, and insert the day. Mañana será, and you say the day of the week. Let's see one more example of these two sentences together. ¿Qué día será mañana? Mañana será martes. Gracias, Juanita. I hope you got every question and sentence down in your Spanish journals because now you and your amigos can ask each other these questions when you want to know what day it is or what tomorrow will be in Spanish. ¿Qué día es hoy? Hoy es martes. ¿Qué día fue ayer? Ayer fue lunes. ¿Qué día será mañana? Mañana será miércoles. Hmm. I think Señorita Garcia's birthday is June 12th. Hey, nuevos amigos! I was just looking at the calendar and I was seeing whose birthdays were coming up. Do you know how to ask someone when their birthday is? Let's look at this sentence. ¿Cuál es la fecha de tu cumpleaños? ¿Cuál es la fecha de tu cumpleaños? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? The answer to this question would be, Mi cumpleaños es el. Say the date, then de, and then say the month. Here, I'll show you an example. My birthday is on August 18th. So, I would say, Mi cumpleaños es el 18 de agosto. Hey, let me ask someone else when their birthday is. Diego! ¿Cuál es la fecha de tu cumpleaños? <laughs> Mi cumpleaños es el 23 de octubre. Gracias, everyone, for helping me learn how to say ¿Cuál es la fecha de tu cumpleaños? Now we have to figure out what we're going to do for Señorita Garcia's birthday. I think we should sing for her, but we don't have an instrument. I know. Let's make a pandero or a pandereta, a tambourine like the ones they use in Spain. We have to figure out how to make one. Let's go! Let's spin the globe and see where we land. Dale, 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 no pierdas el tino, mide la distancia que hay en el camino. We landed in Spain, in the city of Pamplona. This is where the festival of the running of the bulls takes place every year. Let's go see! Oh, ¡Qué calor, nuevos amigos! Tengo calor y tengo sed. Oh, I am waiting for the bulls to ride after running through the streets. Why are they running through the streets? Well, they don't usually run loose in the street, but once a year the bulls in Pamplona are allowed to run through the streets to the bull ring called the Plaza de Toros in San Fermín. And would you believe 
that people run with the bull. People wear white pants and shirts, red boy nasser hats, and a red sash. This is part of the Fiesta de San Fermín, and it's celebrated from July 6th to July 9th. It's a very exciting time, and the festival has been going on for many years. People from all over the world come to Pamplona to run with the bulls. But you are not really supposed to run with the bulls. You run alongside the big bull so you don't get hurt. have been looking at how to make an instrument to use for when we sing for Señorita Garcia's birthday. And I found that a pandero or a pandereta or tambourine is a great instrument and easy to make. Do you want to learn how to make one, nuevos amigos? I thought I would teach you to make one so you can use it to sing the song of the months and the days. Here are the materials you will need two 9-inch paper plates, glue, bells, pencil, hole puncher, colored ribbon or yarn, different color paint or construction paper, scissors or paper edgers. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to glue the two plates together, rim to rim, with the eating surface facing each other. When it's dry, color or paint a design on both sides of the joint plates, and then you're going to let it dry. With a hole puncher, Make several holes around the rim of the plate, but be careful not to make them too close to the edge. Tie the bells with lengths of ribbon or yarn. Then you're going to shake it to get a rattle and strike the sides for beats. Let's review the steps one more time. Number one, glue the two plates together. Number two, when it's dry, color or paint a design on both sides. Three, punch several holes around the rim of the plate. Four, tie the bells with ribbon or yarn. Then shake it to get a rattle and strike the sides for beats. Well, nuevos amigos, this has been a fun lesson today. I hope you enjoyed learning everything. Let's review what we've learned today. Do you remember our verb for the day? Correcto! Escribir. Escribir. To write. We reviewed the days of the week. Los días de la semana. And the months of the year. Los meses del año. We also learned how to say what is today's date in Spanish. ¿Cuál es la fecha de hoy? ¿Qué día fue ayer? What day was it yesterday? ¿Qué día es hoy? What is today? ¿Cuál es la fecha de tu cumpleaños? When is your birthday? Remember, nuevos amigos, when we learn a new language, we also make new friends. Adiós. Olé.